Service to humanity is service to God. Through our words today, you would realize that the statement above is proved. Yes, it is through Kumari Arivial Peravai, which is a voluntary organization filled with service-oriented people who wish to transform India into a better one. KAP realized the true power of the children and is doing a voluntary service for developing the scientific temper of grade 8 students. The backbone of this program is a person with full of devotion, Mr. Milanjeri M. Valian. Everyone has a talent within them that God has endowed them with. All that people need for bringing out their talent and developing them is a right atmosphere. Kumari Arivial Peravai sorts out those students and trains them. Owing to unfeasibility, only 56 students were selected on some basis or to be trained further. Now, tune your ears to have a glimpse of Kumari Arivial Peravai and its effort in modeling new ink scientists. The success behind KAP is its planning which it gives more importance to. The planning meet for the Young Scientist program 2014-2015 was held at Scott Christian High Secondary School, Nagakoi. Brilliant scholars and scientists got together and made an exemplary plan which would develop the scientific timber and also would bring out a hidden potential. Sustainable environment was chosen as a topic of research for this year. The most awaited day arrived. We were longing for it for days together. It was an inaugural meet at Masset. Yes, it made us so keen and finally five selected students from each school assembled for the program. It was unbelievable for us to see such a huge crowd. It was a thrilling experience for us to be in the midst of great scientists from ISRO and many other people who are on high position. An introduction on the theme of the year, sustainable environment and topic related to it were discussed by presentation and talks by high-flying personalities. Knowing that all are not perfect at everything, Kumari Arivial Perve offered us trainings before every selection. The first guidance program was a training program on innovation techniques at Hindu Vidyalaya Matriculation High Secondary School, Matanda. Amidas was the best example, Ms. Masha Singh, an young innovator. Her words provoked each and every one of us to come up with her own innovation. The selection process began with the poster presentation at Hindu Vidyalaya Matriculation Higher Secondary School, Martandam. We prepared a posture and it was our own innovation. In this way, Kumari Arivial Peravai helped us innovate. It was the first step in becoming a scientist. We were scrutinized with more than a few questions and we were given marks according to our presentation. Then was the next training program. It was a training program on innovative project report presentation and study on sustainable environment. A group of young scientists clustered together for attending the training at Udayagiri Fort. Each one of us were issued with a guidebook which would help in writing a good research-oriented report. The guidance by experts made us come up with a better report. Another event was organized by Kumari Arivial Peravai, the Asiriyar Tilagam Award. To honor the best teacher of the district, Asiriyar Tilagam Award is awarded to the best teachers who work hard for the betterment of the student community. This would motivate other teachers to extend their work and develop better students for the future of India. All the students managed to come up with a report on their own innovation and presented it in front of or learned at Scott Christian High Secondary School. Whatever we learn to talk or perform, it is equally important for us to put it in words. To develop this skill within us, we presented our reports on our innovative work. Here again, we were grilled with questions and because of this, we learned to manage any in situation as well. The eco-friendly surrounding of Vivekananda Kendra was where we were to be trained for the project model presentation. Along with training, we also got a lot of awareness about the conservation of basic sources of life like water, agriculture and energy. 
to make us aware of the role that Gandhiji played in the happiness of today's life, KAP celebrated Gandhi Jayanti at Rotary Club of Nagarkovil. On this special day, three prestigious awards were given for Gandhi Service Award. Poet Tangaras was awarded with the Language Service Award, Mr. Raja Kopal with the Social Service Award and Dr. Sobhana Raj with the Educational Service Award. This was an encouragement for others to involve themselves to serve humanity. An innovation will be successful only with a model. The presentation of our innovative model was organized at Emmanuel Arasar JJ College of Engineering, Natalam. We all were excited as this would be our last selection process. We got a chance to explain our innovation in front of renowned personalities and college students and this made us more spirited. Two students with the best innovations from each team were prized and all the students were given a certificate as this was a goodbye time for us. The pages of calendar turned very slowly and our heart was filled with fear and anticipation about the results. We were restless and our sleep was crammed with nightmares about the results. My joy knew no bounds when I knew that I was one among the 56 students selected for the year training. Yes, the joy of having Kumari Arivel Peravai as a guide was the best gift that God has given us. We were split into five teams, namely red, yellow, maroon, green and blue. The first gathering for the selected ink signers was an introductory meet at LMS Boys Higher Secondary School, Martandam. A number of students were shortlisted and the selected 56 gems of Kumari Arivial Peravai had a wonderful meet which is regarded as a meet of guidance. We were advised how to live a new life that would be more productive. Followed by this was a scientific awareness camp at CSI College of Technology, Towale. During the first day, we were sunk into an ocean on presentation that was creating awareness within us about the need for sustainable environment. The thought to craft a sustainable environment subjugated our mind. For all, it is easy to sort the problems, but solving them is tough. But Kumari Arivial Perve did both proving that it is here that we can learn to become a true human. To train us to manage our life in an even better way, the presentation on management concepts in Tirukkural was prearranged at Masset. Tirukkural is one of the oldest epic and management concept in Tirukkural is crafting a bridge between the old and the future generation. We came across 56 management concepts based on a kural which taught us many new ways to accept and value life. A great physician can be created with the aid of a good doctor. To make us interested in serving the humanity through medicine, we were offered training at Government Medical College Asaripallam. We had an interaction with great doctors and we got a good idea about the basics of diseases and their cause. We were taken to the section hall, front seat lamp and the operation theatres in which we learned about preserving techniques and different surgical instruments. We were amazed to see the shadowless ceiling light used in operation theatres for surgery. We the scientists with an aspiration to contribute to such Bharat and to uncover the gift of nature through a study on sustainable environment a two day camp was organized which was held at various places starting from Trikurangudi, Nambikoil, then PSN College and then finally at an organic farm. No one of you would believe if we say that there is a heaven on earth. But all the young scientists will because we have seen it, the organic farm. Yes, the feel that we all got that was unexplainable. We felt that we were in a wonderland at Puliangudi. We are cultured with knowledge about organic farming systems and its benefit to the human society. To broaden our knowledge on coastal environment, the Coastal Environmental Study Tour from Nirodi to Vatakorte was organized. That day was extraordinary and we are lucky to have seen and understand the true condition of the coast and the life of the people there. Their fear of tsunami and the restless day in the coast with no sanitation. 
We had a visit at the ice plant and were taught about the procedure involved in making ice cubes. We also distributed the leaflets to the coastal people which made them aware of several issues. To highlight the significance of our mother tongue Tamil, our real Tamil Mulakkam program was programmed at Government Library, Pangulam. Here, all the 56 students were given topics and all came up with a really informative talk in Tamil which made the day exclusive. We unveil that we are good at Tamil as well. One of the finest of the entire program was training on monitoring sustainable environment through satellite technology and was held at Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Valiamala. The world of tomorrow depends on the young minds of today. To make us aware of the space science and technology, it was a golden opportunity that we got at IIST. We also got a rare opportunity of viewing a satellite image and exploring the site by screening different forms of land. To make us conscious about the technology and basic principles of simple day-to-day -day gadgets, we the young scientists were offered a golden chance to know about them through the technical presentation on science and technological innovations at Maria College of Engineering and Technology. We came across 56 technologies and we were motivated to find out the technology behind the innovations which make us lead a happy and comfortable life. Science is nothing but everything around us. Only when we understand the science behind everything, we can be aware of the world around us. Sir C. V. Raman is known for his interest towards science. To honor Sir C. V. Raman for his achievement and to know about the scientific development in India, KAP provided us with a splendid opportunity to celebrate National Science Day and it was planned at Sigma College of Architecture. We came to know 56 different developments that India has contributed to the world for the betterment of our life. All the students were given a chance to present and they were grilled with questions to improve their presentation skills and to know their true caliber. On National Science Day, it was really a great opportunity for us to have known about the scientific rank of India. If truth be told, biodiversity is worth more than gold. In order to bring this kind of awareness within us, the biodiversity camp was held and it made a conscious about the need and for preserving our biodiversity and the biodiversity that our nation is blessed with. At our campsite, we experienced the rich biodiversity of medicinal plants and it was a rare sight for us to see a number of medicinal plants within a small area. It was great to learn about how electricity is being produced in the hydroelectric power plants. The time there was very worthy and this opportunity never comes again. The discussion on 56 topics related to biodiversity of Kanyakumari district which was held at St. Thomas Welfare Center Alan Jolie made us aware of how well we are blessed. I haven't even wondered of Kanyakumari having such a great biodiversity and we were made aware of it through this program. To enhance our presentation skills, preparation skills, observation skills, listening skills and to make us an excellent orator, the research topic presentation program were organized as NBKA school Artur. This program equalized the knowledge of all students as all the students got a chance to present. Kumari Arivial Peravai convened a meeting for the parents of young scientists. Parents volunteered to share their views on the development that was seen in the children. Discussions were made about the impending program of presenting the study report at Central University of Tamil Nadu, Thiruvaru. To bring in awareness of our responsibilities towards Mother Nature, Kumari Arivial Peravai organized the Earth Art program on 28th of March at Rotary Community Center, Nagarkovil. Earth Heart is an event that aims to create awareness of our duty towards a sustainable future by conserving energy. Being in scientists, we always feel that we have to do something for protecting our planet. And the day finally came in which we, the young scientists of Kumari Arivel Peraway, along with Rotary Club, awoken the sleeping minds and sowed the seeds of awareness that would grow and come up with great yields in the future. 
After a formal inaugural session, we had an awareness walk. As an act of conserving energy, we used candles to light our path and we walked from the Rotary Community Center to the collector office. The walk made all the people think a while and we were sure that this would at least bring a small change in the society. We then had a mock presentation at Annamal College of Nursing. All the young scientist teams presented the presentation of their team. We were grilled with questions here so that it would be easy for us to manage at the university. The book that we the young scientists came up with was released by Professor Dr. Ravindran, Registrar, Central University of Tamil Nadu, Thiruvallur. Each team presented and their presentation was followed by questions by the moderators. All the team presented well and tried answering the questions that they could. Their effort made the day successful and we left the university with appreciation. We then had a conference on sustainable environment at Lions Club of Tanjavur, ancient city. Here, few students gave a really awareness creating talk and we were honored by the members of Lions Club. During this program, several team meets were organized by each team. Those team meets helped us make progress and finally made us successful. After every meet of Kumari Arivel Peravai encouraged us to write reports which enhance our vocabulary and writing skills. We are also motivated to read daily newspaper and document important news. This added knowledge and also increased our reading skill. One of the major skills that we developed in our communication skill. Overall, the Kumari Arivel Peravai, we have become a new person who is now capable of doing anything that was impossible earlier. Kumari Arivel Peravai has made us shine in the student community. We were exposed to a lot of opportunities and those shaped us in this way. The best opportunity in life is always rare. But KAP provides us with many opportunities which shapes us slowly and makes us ready to face the competitive world at a very tender age. KAP not only taught us but also involved us in every activities and has casted us for anything to face in the future. All the effort that it did was mending our personality. All the tribute that we achieve will indisputably get to cap our steer and modeler. We record our gratitude and sincere thanks to KAP for its noble and dedicated effort in shaping us. We all are indebted to Mr. Mulanjari M. Valian, the organizer. Scientists from ISRO, officials from various organizations, coordinators, supporters, doctors, consultants, guide teachers and above all our parents and the Almighty for this opportunity. I am sure we five color petals of Komari Arivial Pereve will blossom into flowers and spread a fragrance throughout our life. Our wish is that Kumari Arivial Pereve should continue the same in shaping more and more in scientists for the future India. With folded hands, we conclude with the words, Thank you, Cap.